Howdy folks, how are you today? Uh, Monday morning, got the little dog here, I'm getting ready to put him out. He's my baby. And uh, I gotta get some things moved around since the green truck is gonna be coming back. I need to make a spot in the driveway. Let's go over here, bonk my head. Oh, get on the Cushman in a minute. But uh, yeah, I gotta make a spot in the driveway because I'm gonna want the thing where Betty White's at, so. I'm going to be messing with it today, and hopefully I can just get it fired up to where I can move it. I may need to run out of town and get some diesel because I'm not sure how much I've got. I won't be sucking any out of the blue truck because it's got enough for me to get over to get fuel. Because i got to run it later. And uh, this thing should have enough in it. i just got to figure out why it's not pumping through to, uh, you know, run the stuff and suck it out. Because the last time I had it fired up... I had to keep adding fuel to the uh, filters to where it'd pull from there. So I got to figure out what's going on. I don't know. Somebody said it was a check valve, but I know I've got fuel in the line. So I'll, uh, I'll have to probably unhook those and stuff and get that. But I got to get Frank Senior moved here too. And it's going to need to go on a charger or I'm going to have to jump the battery. Probably add some gas since I put that patch on the tank. And uh, it's going to get moved over there. There's a chicken coop out there. It used to be where the wife sat over in the garden. I don't know if you can see that or not. And uh, that concrete pad is where I'm going to put Frank Sr. at now. Until I can start messing with it again. Because once that green truck Frankenstein comes home. That's going to be the main priority for everything. To get that thing back on the road. So I at least need to get Betty White to where I can move it around. And I want to be able to just turn the key and fire it right up like I was when i first got it but i ran the thing down the road and i uh, may have sucked some dirty stuff up in there so i may just have a clog or something so i'm gonna have to go through that but you know it's one of those things where it happens over time stuff gets in there crap builds up lines break down whatever whatever but the filters have always been clear when i pulled them off and checked them it's just i had to keep on adding fuel to where it would actually suck it up and run so i'll have to go through that but yeah that's what i'm going to be doing right now so i'll uh, stay tuned in that's what we'll be doing today so hopefully you know and i'll bring you back throughout this stuff once i get this frank senior fired up and moved and then get into betty white we'll we'll get you in there so that way you're not missing anything but uh that thing right there always a stunner and solid so until then you know what we say well, sitting in old Frank Sr. here. Uh, wouldn't fire up. I don't know what the deal is. Threw the charge or the jumpers on the battery real quick. Gonna let that sit here and charge up and uh, see if she'll fire. Should probably. I don't see no problem with it. Uh, put some air in this tire. Try to put air in this tire, but there's a crack in the sidewall, so that's not happening there. Uh, check this one over here. I know that inner one's flat, but um, you know, they ain't. That one's got air in it, which is fine. And there's a gap down there, so I'm fine with that. Added some gas down here. Uh, don't see any leakage, so uh, we're probably good on that. That little patch job I did there. And I thought these were cool. I noticed these the one day. Little mud flaps there. So, well, let's get in here and try to see if it'll crank over. Hopefully it will. That way I don't have to sit here and mess with this too much. Because, well, I don't want to. I want to get this thing moved so I can start messing with Betty White. Well, give her a little gas here. Well. Come on, baby. Well. Let that thing get some more juice in it and try it again here in a little bit. Because I uh, just don't want to go for some reason. And there should be plenty of fuel in there because I just dumped some in. Probably about a gallon and a half maybe. I don't know. Maybe a gallon. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get this thing going and moved. Not what I really want to be messing with the whole time here. Just want to be able to get it over there. Got the spot cleaned out over there in the garden so i can start messing with that thing because well that thing needs to be mobile need to be able to move that back and forth 
That way when I do get Frankenstein home, I can at least move that back here and get it out the way because I can always pull that truck up and back it up whenever I need to move it. I just want to get that thing moved for now. That way it's sitting here. Frank Sr. is. So, well, till then, you know what we say. I'll be back, I'm sure, with somewhat of an update. So, may even take the wife for riding this if I get it fired up and the dog. I know she's never been in it before, so we'll see. And of course, I did an outfit change. It's humid. Humid is crazy. Mosquitoes, gotta keep them off me. Don't need no bite, so. You know how it goes. Well, obviously, as you can hear, we got this thing running. I uh, had to dump a little bit of fuel in the carburetor and uh, added some more gas because I just don't think I had enough in there. Had to jump the battery, of course, with the ground truck, but uh, we got it. So let's get this thing moved real quick. Uh, you're fine with that view, probably. Remember, we don't have no brakes still, so let's just shove her in a second. She wants to go. trim that branch up so it's not hanging down probably and uh, this is where this is going to sit for a while so I can get some other things going and some with that white truck uh, it may come out here too in the uh, winter time or in the fall once we get all this stuff cleaned up because I could set them both out here that'd be fine but the ground has to be a little bit uh, harder for me to want to do that because well this stuff is super soft because it's all sandy so it's what it is that old bald tire boom well, that's what 
that is. So I guess until I get messed around with that white truck, you know what we say, I'm gonna kill this thing and run and see what the wife's doing. Let her know we got her moved. So, uh. Well, folks, just jumped into Betty White here and um, just turned the key and it's got a little bit of voltage, probably not enough for anything, but uh, we'll give it a shot. I mean, it won't kill nothing. Probably not going to do nothing. So I can tell you that much right now. It's probably deader than dead, but we'll still see. It's uh, it'll crank, so I'll, I'll get out here and check these filters out, see if there's any fuel or anything in there. Maybe start pulling some shit and mess around, because, well, that's a lot more than what I thought. You uh, know, if I do have to get one of the chargers on there, I can. Uh, I'd like to um, do the both of them at once with two separate chargers. That way I know both of them are going. And uh, we got full juice when, um, you know, I add the fuel in the filters that's the first thing i'm gonna do is check that one and see if it's got any because well if it does then i can just at least slide it up slide it up some probably check the tire pressure and stuff sitting a little crooked but it could just be the driveway who knows now the battery um this thing's had a charge the whole time the freaking clock that's not right so i don't know man this truck's a mystery but we like mysteries and problems, so we'll figure it out. Oh, it's hot in here. I got to get out, so. Oh, water temperature is about 125 up there. So, at least I know that. That's good. And we did have volts, so you heard it. So you know what's going on. But, um, yeah, I'm going to check those real quick. Probably jack this cab up, too. That way, I, I don't know. I can climb under there, but if I jack the cab up, it might be a little bit easier to mess with some things. Because uh probably mess with some things. So till then, you know what we say. I'll bring you back once I uh get some stuff going on and uh fueling these filters and stuff and check some other things out. Diagnose the thing. Run a diagnostics test. She won't start. What is going on? We'll figure it out. I'll tell you that much right now. The old cab jacked up here on Betty White. Uh took the old hammer. Oh, bam bam and was tapping around here crack this line some fuel coming out of it crack this nothing so i open this up dump some fuel in there i grabbed the filter and i twisted it and i still had fuel in it so i took oh just bust my head on this roto girder right here because uh, you can't do anything this this guy right here will get you too you will watch it but uh took the old hammer and tapped around in here back where the fuel filters at tapped around on all that stuff that way if there's a clog or something maybe i could break it free and i thought maybe when i was tapping that filter um it uh it broke free but i can't remember if i had filled that up the last time i had moved it you know so i basically just tapped the hammer all the way around everything that i think could have a line or something in it that way, if there was any clog whatsoever, because I checked that side, and there's plenty of fuel in it, and I guarantee there's plenty of fuel in this, too. And this fuel cap even says white GMC on it. That's kind of cool. Yeah, plenty of fuel down there. So we'll see what's going on here. I'll we'll probably drop this cab here and, uh, you know, get this safety lock off. Oh, I got to crank it up a little bit more. Drop that cab, jump up in there, and try to uh, turn it over. I got a bottle of spray over there. That way, if I need to, um, you know, give it a spray of juice, I can. Don't really want to. I'd rather it just fire up on its own because, well, it has before. And I had to use that last time. I was dumping ton in, and I don't want to have to do that every time. I just want to be able to push that button and boom which we'll get there one of these days it's just one of those things that you know it's not a main priority so i do want it moved so when i get the frankenstein truck back i can park it right here because i want to be able to just boom easy access from the garage because i'll have the cab here rear in there be able to just climb up in there and do what i need to do right, slow going down but uh yeah we'll jump in there real quick and see if it'll fire up if not i'll have to um you know the batteries don't want to go 
throw a charger on them, take the air filter out, and uh, give the old squirt squirt. Not exactly what I'm trying to do, but it's what it is. And well, if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. So let's get these tools off here. Let's climb up here real quick. Not as easy to uh, climb up in as the blue truck, but since I'm lanky, I usually can do that shit. So let's see what we got here. This will pedal straighten out. And I'll uh, see if we can get this thing to go or not. No shutdown. Nothing. Um, probably try to throw some juice in there real quick and see what's good. So I'll um, I'll bring you back if I can get it to at least attempt to fire. Because well, that's the first thing I need to do is get it to attempt to fire, and then we'll roll from there. So till then, you know what we say. Well, folks, she is live. Let's get this out of here. Once I build air pressure, I'm just gonna pull it forward. Uh, let it run for a minute, build some air, dump the fuel where I need it to, see how long this thing runs for. Might just run what's in the filter out, I don't know. Let me make sure I got everything off here. As long as I got enough air pressure though, I can pull forward and that's all I really want to do. So, uh, yeah, it's running. So it's up. Air filter. For the thing. Oh, tools are off, so that's good. I'm gonna move that brown truck over just a little bit. That way I don't worry about hitting it. Don't want to hit Graham's truck. Hopefully the thing don't die on me because the last time I did this, I had it started. I moved this truck and the next thing you know, I think died on me. So we'll see. This over here, I'll just put it in the yard. Because well, it's a good spot for it for now. Do it quick. Oh, that makes me feel good because that thing did not want to start. Messed with it for probably an hour. I had to throw a charge on it because I drained the batteries down. I'll need to come back out here and roll wind up. Let's get in there and see how the air pressure is. See if we can move this thing. Still low air, but I don't care because, well, we're close. We are close. They go in. Put this thing in gear. We are in gear. Let's see if we're gonna roll. Try and go backwards. In first. I'm just spinning, son of a bitch. Not what I want to do. Oh, I do not want to dig a hole. Come on, you son of a bitch. The brake is locked up or something. Well, at least it's running. I'm just gonna let it run. I'm gonna have to freaking move these stones over or something. That's what I did the last time. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I'm digging a hole. Crying out loud. Jack it up. Throw some crap under there. Ugh. Well, at least it's running though, so that's a good thing. Oh, I'll bring you back because you know I got stuff to do now. So, Let's see how long this thing runs. At least it's running. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord score in my book so until then you know what we say we'll sink fired right back up uh do the old jack under there real quick fill those in those boards down there so let's see if that'll do it um hopefully i'll just be able to roll forward another break was stuck i talked about it before in another video and uh we'll see here hopefully we can just uh get this thing to roll on its own so we will see Get in there. We are moving. Yeah. Get some of that. That's what I'm talking about. It don't look like that brake stuff, so that's good. Um, I think that's probably good. Sorry about your angles and stuff, folks. Yeah, it's digging there. It's probably good, though. Just leave it right there. We're just gonna leave it right there. Oil pressure's at 40. Bolts are at almost 13. Water temperature's a little low. Says we're empty, but the air's building there, 120. So that's good. Oh, we'll just leave that off. I'm just gonna let this thing idle for a little bit and uh, do its thing. 
charge those batteries up. Throw that air filter back in there probably. A leak in the seat. That thing's gonna need to go or get changed out or fixed. Well, there you go. So I get this title switched out. If anybody's interested in this truck, it does run. It will move. So, that's Betty White. It don't look too bad right there. I think that's probably fine. That uh, gives me plenty of room to park the green truck right there probably. Where I can butt the ass in right up against it. And that thing's only got a one. 85 wheelbase so that's probably plenty for the cab to sit right here and like i said once i move that out the way i can just pull it up back it up and it be good as long as i can get that thing out when i need to um that's all i'm worried about oh air dryer just kicked over that's nice that's brand new i had to replace that because the other one's leaking so it's what it is Let's see if we got some return fuel in here i heard it when i shut it down because i did turn it off for a minute when I uh, jacked it up and stuff, because I didn't want it running. Yeah, it looks like we got stuff kicking back in there, so that's good. I don't know what you can see or not. With some bubbles, I can hear it. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, just needed fuel. Must have been too low. I did throw some oil in there too, though, so it always helps. That's what I'm talking about. Stupid. Stupid cap never wants to go on there. It's a pain in my butt. There we go. Got it. So yeah, once I get more fuel in this thing and um, you know, it'll start every time. I'll run it down the road and stuff because it needs it. Fill the tires up and stuff. Check over all the lubes. Like I said, I added antifreeze before because I thought maybe that's why it was not uh, running and stuff. Then just added a little bit of oil and uh, boom, fired right up. This gun need replaced here. A big old hole up in there. I mean, for a 91, it don't sound bad, I don't think. Sounds all right running down the road. You can hear that whistle. But uh, yeah, that thing's gonna need replaced and then uh, throw a stack on there or something. Clean this thing up. Run her down the road. That's what I'm talking about, so, well. That's gonna conclude this because there's really nothing else I'm gonna do besides go get cleaned up and run that blue truck tonight. And y'all have seen me done that plenty of times. So do that, done that, been there, done that. So you know what I'm talking about. Till the next time, you know what we say, we will see ya. <laughs>